I'd love to rein in the special interests that control our state politics. And that's what I thought Prop 89 did. But then I read up on it. It turns out Prop 89 was written by the special interests. Oh, come on. <laughs> Paid for by Chevron Texaco. We all know your ad was produced by a big pharma lobbyist. Warning, this ad could be dangerous to your political health. Side effects include numbness of the brain, tightening sensation in the belt area, swelling of corporate profits, diarrhea of kickbacks, infections at the Capitol, antibiotic-resistant sacramental infections, nausea, political fatigue, budgetary hemorrhaging, reform constipation, political bank account bloating, cancerous corporate growth, clogging of traffic arteries, bleeding from public programs, educational cramping, cramping in the classrooms, complications from lack of health insurance, confusion. If you experience outrage or injustice, discontinue corporate welfare at once and immediately vote yes on 89. If you are pregnant or nursing, or could become pregnant, are taking any other medications, are ill, or could become ill at any point in your life, are in school, or could attend school in the future, have a job, pay taxes, live in a home, drive a car, or have friends or family you care about, you should know that voting no on 89 isn't for you. Talk to your family nurse for more information on how Yes on 89 can heal California.